could be a landmark night for soccer in Greater Cincinnati. A team from the English Premier League comes here to play FC Cincinnati. We're getting a preview of the visitors tonight. Ken Brews live at Nippert Stadium. Ken? Hey, John, this game is close to, if not a sellout. 35,000 people will come here tomorrow to watch a soccer game. Just think about that for a second. 35,000 people in Nippert Stadium to watch a soccer match. That's how far and how quickly FC Cincinnati has come. You know the crowd is going to be big when the FC Cincinnati banners have disappeared from the stands. And as big a hit as FC Cincinnati has been on the field and in the stands, tomorrow night's match against the English Premier League's Crystal Palace will take soccer in Cincinnati to a whole new level. For, for a lot of the, the rookies and the younger guys on the team, it'll be a cool experience for them and, um, and to show that, you know, we're, we're on the same level, you know, we're not too much far behind, so it'll be good. A win over Crystal Palace, the current FA Cup runner-up, isn't unthinkable. The team hasn't brought its full roster of players, including some stars. And while tomorrow is huge for the city and the team off the field, on the field, there are bigger games ahead. You, you want that balance. You want to be able to enjoy the occasion. Um, it's not every day that a Premier League club like Crystal Palace comes into Cincinnati and comes into your backyard. So what we want to do is we want to put on a great showcase. We want to celebrate the city and what we've been able to do at FC Cincinnati. As the team, they play tomorrow night just finishing up a training match, Crystal Palace. But what Harks is talking about, three league games in the next 10 days starting on Wednesday. That's the real order of business, but tomorrow will be a celebration. It will be the first time ever that an English Premier League team has ever played in the Tri-State. We're live at Nippert Stadium. I'm Ken Brew, 9 on your side.